the two benzylic hydrogens H A and H B in the compounds one and two are. The options are shown here. In crude method, the equivalent atoms of carbon having adjacent chiral center it is said to be diastereotopic. Now we consider these two equivalent atoms of carbon. That is this carbon, which is present in the second structure. This carbon having two adjacent atoms. That is nitrogen and the carbon. The substituents of the nitrogens are opposite to each other, so it will not have any symmetry. Here, nitrogen can considered as chiral center, so these two equivalent hydrogens are said to be diastereotopic. Next, we consider the two equivalent hydrogens of carbon, which is present in structure one. Here, the adjacent atom nitrogens of substituents are same side, so it will have symmetry. Here, the nitrogen is considered as a chiral center. So, these two equivalent hydrogens are said to be enantiotopic. So, the correct answer is diastereotopic in two and enantiotopic in one. That is. The second option is the correct answer. Next, we see the similar type of question which is asked in the CSIR 2013 June. The question is in the compound given below, the hydrogens marked A and B are. The options are homotopic, isotopic, enantiotopic, and diastereotopic. Here, the equivalent hydrogens are H E and HB. For this, we have to identify whether it is chiral or achiral. The substituents are present in same side, so it will have symmetry. Here, this nitrogen is considered as achiral. So, these two hydrogens are said to be enantiotopic. The correct answer is third option that is an enantiotopic thank you